FMS just expanded their 24 scale lineup once again with this new FCX 24 lemur. Now this vehicle looks pretty interesting. It's a caged rock buggy that's running a brand new chassis from FMS. The body panels are available in orange, red, and green, and each color option has its own unique graphics, which is cool to see. Let's get this thing out of the box to take a closer look. In the package, the lemur comes ready to run with a transmitter, cross wrench, USB charger, an instruction manual, some shock preload clips, and your typical 7.4 volt, 380 milliamp LiPo battery pack. Getting right into the vehicle itself, it appears that FMS went for more of a moon buggy inspired look because the proportions are a little strange in my opinion. I think the cage looks great, but the wheel and tire setup is quite large for a vehicle of this size. They're noticeably taller than the tires that come on the FCX 18, as well as other FCX 24 models, and just a hair shorter than the monster truck tires from the FMS Smasher. The tires appear to be foamless BF Goodrich mud terrains mounted on some three-piece plastic wheels. The tread pattern isn't very aggressive, so I'm guessing they'll work slightly better on rocks compared to dirt. The lemur comes with a nice little scale Lexan interior with a couple of drivers, a massive fuel cell in the rear that also serves as the battery box, and a functional LED light bar mounted on the top, which is probably my favorite feature of this buggy. The LED light bar can easily be turned on and off by pressing the bind button on the transmitter. The cage and body panels of the lemur are held together with fill up screws, but it would be nice to see FMS switch them to hex head screws to match the rest of the vehicle. Most FCX 24s come with a bag of optional shock O-rings that you can install if you want to fill your shocks with oil, but I noticed that the lemur comes with those O-rings pre-installed and the shocks actually have a little bit of oil in them already. Now I'm really happy to see that change from FMS because it noticeably improves performance and it saves the owner some time. One thing I'm really not a fan of is the front bumper. I think it looks out of place and it honestly reminds me of the cheap toy grade RCs that you'd find at Walmart. That's just my opinion though. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. To improve the approach angle and appearance of the vehicle, I'm just gonna remove the front bumper completely before I even run it. Besides that, everything else is pretty standard. We still have the usual 130 brushed motor hooked up to the FCX24 two-speed transmission and portal axles that we've seen before. The electronics are all nicely hidden within the cage. The ESC and receiver combo is located under the hood and it looks like FMS mounted the on and off switch just behind the driver for easy access, which is nice. The steering servo on the front axle does have a servo saver once again. I understand why they put them on vehicles like the Smasher, but for a rock crawler like this, the drag link and tie rod are both plastic and seem to be flexible enough to absorb any impact. Now let's get this vehicle out on the trails to give it a test.
After wheeling this truck for a while, just as I suspected, dirt really packs into the tread pattern on these BF Goodrich tires, which almost turns them into slicks at times. The truck wanted to roll over quite a bit, but it was still fun to mess around with out on the trails. It's always nice to be able to shift into high gear to get out of certain situations and have those portal axles around to avoid getting hung up. You can find more information about the lemur in the description of this video, and I want to thank FMS Model for sending this vehicle out for us to take a look at here on the channel. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.